lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a pink Christmas mani with some cute penguin decals, all by Pampered Pretties. The first color I'm going to be diving into is Glorious, which is a light pink with some foils in it, and then it changes to white, so it's a thermal changer. On my hands, it was mostly white just because my hands are always warm, and it's warm, uh, as white and then when it's cold it is the pink color so I'm going ahead and putting this on my index finger I'm just going to show you the one application of each color I ended up doing two coats of each and then I also go ahead and I put this on my ring finger which you'll see here in a minute I just saw these colors from pampered pretties and I actually did an unboxing that was my last video last week that I did um, and this was part of it I saw them on Pampered Pretty's website and they were sold out, so I asked uh, Shanna, who's the owner, if they were going to be restocked, and she said they would be, and then as soon as they were, I jumped in and got three of the colors from the collection, because I just thought they were so, so pretty. And I like untraditional colors for Christmas. <laughs> so here I am putting the activator on, and you can kind of see it turning um, that pink color when it's cold. And I'm going in with Tis the Season to Sparkle, which is a shimmery pink. And I'm putting this on my thumb and my pinky. I just had to pause my recording there because I started to have a choking fit for whatever reason. <laughs> um, so here I'm just applying this down. And I am using 915 Aesthetics uh, Base Liquid and Activator for this mani. Oop, and I just totally hit the camera then when I uh, tried to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now I'm just making sure that I don't have enough, uh, too much liquid on the side of my nail, which I just cleaned up there with my cuticle stick because some of it did get on my skin. And I really love this color. I think it is so beautiful. It's just like the whole mani together to me looked like pink snow. So I really liked pairing it with the penguin decal, which you'll see later on in this video. All right, so I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this here and then I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so here's how we're looking after I did my middle finger with Twinkle Toes. I'm going to go ahead and put my top gel on, buff, file, reshape, and then I'll be back for the decal application. These are the cute winter penguin decals I decided to use. I'm going to use this little guy here down on the left-hand corner. So I'm just going to cut the decal out as close to the image as I can. This is the best practice for getting the decals to stay on your nails. I'm kind of doing this off camera. Apologies about that. I really haven't done a decal mani in a while where I'm cutting out the decal on the video. But as you can see, I'm trying to get it as close to the side of his body and then around by the little uh, wing and everything like that on um, his body. So once you get your decal cut out, you can put it in a little container of room temperature water. And you want to let that sit for about 15 to 30 seconds. And while this is sitting in the water, I'm going ahead with my sticky base coat by Maniology. And I'm putting a layer of that down on my middle finger just to get a sticky surface for that decal. And you want to make sure you give this a little time to dry because if you put it on when it's too wet, it will kind of like smear the decal and then you'll have to redo it. That's just my personal experience because I've done it in the past even though I've done decal manis many times now I'm just taking the decal out with my tweezers I don't like to touch the decal with my fingers and taking some of that excess water off I pick it up on my jelly stamper and then I'm peeling the backing off again with my tweezers 
and then I just make sure that it's not wrinkled. I place it on the nail as straight as possible. And there he is. And isn't that so cute? So now I'm going to go ahead and wait for this middle finger to dry a little bit. And once that's dry, I put on my 2-in-1 Delicate Gel from Vivid Glam Co. I do this on every finger, and I usually leave the decal finger or the nail, out, nail art finger, whichever I'm doing at the time, or stamping for last, because you wanna make sure that everything on that finger is totally dry, so it doesn't smudge anything. And of course, you wanna make sure that you're being careful with this and not getting any of the gel on your skin, because if you do, you will develop a gel allergy, even with a delicate gel, you just wanna be extra careful. And now I'm going in and doing my last two fingers here before I do the middle finger. So my ring finger and my pinky. And just giving this a nice even coat. I love this delicate gel by Vivid, Vivid Glam Co. It's the only gel that I'm currently able to use besides the builder gel that I've been using, which I still have to do a video for and I will do a video for. Apologies on that. So now I'm just testing this finger to make sure that the sticky base coat is dry and I'm putting a layer over that decal. And then once you're done with this, you wanna let it uh, cure in your lamp for 90 seconds. I wouldn't do any less than that, just because you wanna make sure that the gel is totally cured. And then once that is done, I will be back for some cuticle oil application here. And this is everything all nice and cured up and shiny. And the penguin is looking so cute. <laughs> I'm using my Christmas Cabin from Happy Cuticle Company. I just received this in the mail. I will link everything down below as always. It smells like a cinnamon stick, which is really nice. And I also thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you want to see me uh, post more content, please subscribe. If you're so inclined, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me grow my channel. And here's the final look, all hydrated up. And I tried to get that thermal change on camera, but it is kind of hard um, in my nail face here. But as always, thanks so much and have a lovely day.